stage bottles, deagle bottles, side sling bottles, pony bottles, all this confusion about what is what and how to use it and how to label it. In this episode of UTD Scuba Diving TV, I'll explain to you the ins and outs, how we determine what is a deagle bottle, what is a stage bottle, and how we label it so we don't get confused underwater. Hi and welcome, coming to you from now sunny Slovakia. Uh, yesterday it was raining, now the sun is out, so I figured it'd be a nice opportunity to stand here in the sun and shoot this little video. There are divers all around us getting ready for today's dive. Uh, at the moment I'm teaching a UTD Tech 3 class, so that's gonna be fun. Tomorrow we uh, will move to Atarsee in Austria to uh, do the experience dives. So um, we've been talking about stage bottles and deagle bottles uh, all the time. So I figured I'd share the information with you. A stage bottle is maybe already self-explanatory in, in, in the name where it came from. It was a bottle used to stage during the dive, stage from you, put in the cave or put on the line or whatever. And uh, it was mainly there to give you a longer bottom time um, and an easy way to carry more gas without getting ridiculous amount of big cylinders on your back. Um, also, uh, a stage bottle is very helpful to be able to make two dives on the same set of doubles. So you're gonna make them dive to some kind of nice wreck which is just a bit, a little bit too deep to be safely or to be to be done by uh, on a single set of doubles, then you would either need to bring two doubles on the boat, or you could just bring a stage. So um, we have a nice class online called the Stage Mini UTD Stage and Deco Mini. Uh, if you want to know how to learn how to use all these cylinders and and the ins and outs and how to build a stage kit and all that sort of stuff, go online on our website and sign up for that course, contact the UTD instructor and take a UTD stage mini. But um, for now, let's stick with what is what. A deco bottle is, as the name suggests, a, a cylinder used for decompression. And it's also marked accordingly. As you can see, this is a decompression bottle uh, we use from 21 meters. This is what we call an MOD sticker. And the MOD sticker is on both sides. A little bit more on that later. And here we have an oxygen bottle with an MOD sticker and actually the name oxygen. This is a stage bottle. As you can see, there, is, there are no stickers on there with an MOD. There's just maybe some indication of who the cylinder is from and obviously an analyzation label as you would have on all your cylinders when you're diving. So to start with a deco bottle, a decompression bottle like it is, like I said, is for decompression. So switching to the wrong gas during a technical dive is one of the danger, most dangerous situations you can have uh, in technical diving. So the procedure on how to switch and the labeling of the cylinders is absolutely critical. So we um, at UTD say you have to have on your oxygen or any other decompression bottle a clear marked MOD sticker that's easily readable by the team and it should be on both sides of the cylinder. Now, when you imagine the cylinder is on you like this, you can either have the team in front of you, which makes it easy to, for them to see the MOD sticker here. If the team is on the line, when you're in a current situation and you're wing on wing, you could easily pull this cylinder in front of you and show the teammate beside you what is the MOD sticker. The analyzation label is for your purpose so when you start to your switch procedure you can con confirm this is the cylinder you want to switch to. It has information like the MOD, the initials of you, the user, the content of the cylinder, super important, and then the pressure and the date. Now this label has to be on the opposite side of the valve because when you're underwater and you get ready for your switch procedure it's easy for you to catch this label. The MOD sticker on the other side is if teammate is on the left side of you and they can easily see what kind of cylinder you're switching to. So when you put these stickers on your cylinder, make sure you place the cylinder on, the, uh, on its back, so to speak, with the valve facing up, and then you should be able to read the text right side up, like this, but also like this. 
so be be cautious also place this sticker as high up on the cylinder as you can because then it's easier for the team to read in all scenarios especially when you later on have two cylinders they might hang in front of each other and like you can see here on the nitrox 50 bottle the sticker is quite high up on both sides of this cylinder when it comes to rigging the stage rigging uh, is this piece of string that's on the cylinder that enables us to attach the cylinder to ourselves now it is basically one piece of string with a loop and a single ender on the top the single ender should be right at the shoulder of the cylinder not too far down not too high up right about here and it goes straight down as tight as you can get it just if you can see just to the right of the valve if you're starting to look from the front just outside here because that way when you mount your regulator here and the hoses they will be on the outside of your stage kit now imagine it's a test to you if you want to get to the regulators on the side of the of the cylinder right here they're nice and protected but still easily available for use so place the kit just to the right of this the distance between the top and the bottom is all is about 38 40 centimeters and then you got the tail clip now the tail clip as you can see has a little bit of a gap like almost like a handful um, of space like here that's uh, a good point to have it like that that way if you have multiple cylinders they are easier to work with and plus when you're scootering they get more e easily in, in trim behind you when we dive side mount we can use the same stage kit but then we can just wrap this tail clip a couple of times around itself and that way we can take up that slack and keep the tanks nice and close to our bodies this piece of uh, tubing that's going down from the top to the bottom part of the cylinder is a piece of fuel tubing or a hose or some kind it is not a handle you see sometimes people carrying their cylinders by by this piece of string it is not a handle just carry your cylinders like this this piece is just as a guide for you when you're working with the cylinder underwater and you want to stow your regulator this piece of hose keeps that bungee here easy accessible for you to put your hose in between also it's a guide from the top clip down to the tail clip so you don't have to go looking around where this is so it's an easy guide to get to the tail clip when we come to the tail clip this is connected with a, a hose clamp which is covered by a piece of fabric here to uh, to protect the cylinder but also to protect the protruding end from hurting your suit because when you put one of these uh, pipe clamps together one end sticks out and you can bury that underneath the um, the webbing here put the the screw thingamabob uh, on the same side as your valve that way it's always away from your suit and away from your wing so it doesn't hurt your suit or wing quite nice when we uh, think about the bungees that keep the regulars in place um, I suggest to use these thick rubber uh, bungees they have just a good amount of friction on your rubber hose to keep everything nice and tight and because of their thickness they're they're nice and easy to grab underwater also with thick gloves gloves because you can just roll them and they kind of roll onto your thumb in that manner so here we have mounted the regulator um, here is an extra hose with a connector for the rebreather just ignore that that's just because then i can have an open circuit uh, bailout bottle but also plug it in to a rebreather if needed so just ignore this hose normally you would have an spg on a short 15 centimeter hose and there's actually a video on this channel showing you how to make this little bungee makes it very nice because it's not permanent and you can easily remove this then you have a one meter hose the color doesn't matter uh, just a one meter hose and a good second stage as you can see i've placed the second stage uh, a bit further down uh, the cylinder that way when you're wearing the cylinder 
that second stage is not in your way and when you're wearing multiple cylinders they don't bang on the second stage they just have clear access so it's a bit nicer also as you can see the loop kind of stops at the bottom of the cylinder and this helps greatly when you want to stow uh, the last part of the cylinder if you um, if you do a dirty stow like this then it's a very likely scenario when you look at your SPG and you put your SPG back that you're going to connect it through this loop and then when you come to the switch your hose is locked so make it a point to really get that hose away it only takes a couple of uh, times to practice this and you become really fast at doing this uh, stone method be very prudent and be very dedicated and disciplined in the labeling of these cylinders because accidents can happen very fast underwater and they have happened and it's an easy um, way to secure yourself just take your time label them correctly mark them correctly and have a have a good safe experience underwater well this was me from slovakia that's about what i have to say about stage and deco cylinders see you out there